pretty much does, does was appropriates two hundred thousand dollars to DSPP and F fiscal year twenty three for the statewide fire and traffic task force from the state police. Any questions or comments? Mr. Sanders, raise the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, miracles never cease. Uh, this is a, a bill that uh, I have uh, put in every year, probably since um, uh, the mid 2010s, I don't know, 2015, 2016, something like that. Um, and I have offered it numerous times in, as a, uh, an amendment in response to uh, gun control legislation in the state, because it's been my uh, opinion that very often the majority puts in gun control legislation, which attacks uh, the firearm itself, um, which is not the real problem. The issue is uh, the, uh, the criminal activity that's involved uh, and the user of the firearm. And I would suggest that the statistics will bear out that the vast majority of so-called gun violence in the state is the result of illegally trafficked and possessed guns in the hands of criminals, uh, not law-abiding citizens or permit holders. Um, so this bill essentially is uh, designed to fund something called the Statewide Firearms Trafficking Task Force, which is a program that existed, um, um, I don't know, maybe about a decade or so ago. And uh, it was funded uh, shortly after the, uh, the Sandy Hook tragedy at the uh, tune of $1 million per year. And um, I've spoken to quite a few folks involved in that task force, and they said it was highly successful. Um, the sad thing is that um, shortly thereafter, that funding ceased, and this program has not been funded for a long time. So I have uh, tried to use this as, a, as an argument to point out this is where we ought to be focusing um, if we really are serious about stopping gun violence and uh, homicide in this state. And, um, and I stand by that. Um, uh, what's amazing to me is that uh, this year, uh, Governor Lamont, uh, in his package of uh, um, crime and, and, and gun control proposals, included a version of this policy. And, um, and, and suddenly it's popular and popular enough to appear on our agenda. And I'm very thankful to the chairs for uh, considering this uh, policy. I'm a little puzzled why it shows up on the um, GAE committee agenda. Uh, I know there are other versions going through Judiciary Committee and so forth, and I know that I have some colleagues, including those on this committee, who also put this bill in uh, on a regular basis, so I'll recognize their efforts as well. Um, I do want to say that I'm going to support the bill out of committee today, obviously, um, but I do have two recommendations. One is that I do believe that we should fund it at an amount greater than $250,000. Uh, the previous funding level was a million dollars, and I think that's appropriate to put enough um, officers on the street fighting um, uh, the movement of illegally uh, obtained and um, illegally possessed firearms. Um, basically, they are trafficked from city to city um, uh, and associated with gang activity, with drug trafficking, and a lot of other things. And um, if you put some folks in communication with each other from city to city, you can find a way to stop this. Um, and the other concern is that I'm not a, a fan of increasing spending or raising taxes. So every time I've proposed this legislation, I have always done it uh, by uh, attaching some um, companion cut in spending that is equal to the amount of this increase. Um, so I would just encourage if this bill goes forward that we find a way uh, to offset this cost uh, with a cut somewhere else. Um, and uh, I urge my colleagues to support this legislation. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 